Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today we're going to make music paper napkin envelopes. But first, let's have our shout out to Black Coffee, Colleen Craft Corner, Sherry Joyce, Gary Lynn, and Little Flowers. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's start at the beginning. You're going to need a napkin. Most napkins come with layers. You'll either have a napkin with two layers or you'll have a napkin with three layers. You're going to need to remove the layers. So I have kind of pre-started my layers here so I don't have to argue with them on camera. And you simply start at a corner and get them to pull up. And then you gently remove the layers. I find it easier to remove the layers one at a time. I always save my little tissues that I remove for wiping up things or however you'd like to use your napkins. You can actually use them as napkins, but let's go ahead and let's remove the other one. This one's a little more delicate because you're working with some very thin papers here. So I'm just, uh, yeah, it's, <clears throat> it doesn't want to cooperate. It, uh, Seems like it's a little stuck right there in that one spot. So I'll take it around this way and just go slow. Take your time and just gently pull them apart. Okay, making my way around this way. All right, here's where it's a little stuck. All right, and we made it. All right, so now you have your napkin. Now what I did was I brought in my iron and I did iron my napkin. So here's my napkin and it has been ironed right here. So I'm gonna bring it in, bring in my iron napkin. And I'm going to take my music paper. Now you don't have to use music paper. You could use um, book page, you could use whatever paper you want, coffee dyed paper, stamped paper, but I like the music paper. I like to see either music or words coming through the napkin. So I'm just going to choose this one right here. I'm going to bring in my Elmer's glue or white school glue. I have mixed mine with a little water. Someone's going to say, how much water? And I don't measure you guys. This is me you're talking to. Maybe this much glue and this much water, something like that. Alrighty, so I do have a brush right here. It's in water right now, but it looks just like that. I'm actually going to take one of my little napkins and wipe it. Alrighty, so it's all wiped off. And let's go ahead and let's apply our glue onto it might be sealed already. I was using it earlier, getting all prepared. I do have an example, and I will show you my example at the end. But right now, let's make us one. So I'm just applying my glue onto my napkin. I'm generous with my glue, and I'm just brushing it. So everywhere on my music paper, there's going to be glue. Okay. And I'm just brushing it to the ends and just get it all covered. Try not to have too much of um, a glob. We don't really want globs of glue. We want it to be as smoothed out as we can. Alrighty. Now my paper kind of starts to curl up on me a little bit. You know what that is right there. So I don't really want that to happen, so I'm talking to it. Don't curl up on me. I'm going to put my brush away. I'm going to bring in my napkin, and I'm going to see if I can't just lay it right on my music paper, just like that. Now a trick that I have found after doing this for so many years is I like to get a little bit of wax paper, and just a little bit, and then I'm going to lay it right on top of my napkin, 
and I'm just going to brush it just like that kind of in and starting at the center and brushing it in the outward motion just like that it helps make it smoother it helps get get the air out and I just find that it really makes it so much easier isn't that beautiful look at the difference between just the regular napkin and the napkin with the music paper goodness gracious so I'm going to trim this off just so we don't have so much to work with and of course you can save this for doing little piecework on certain things if you'd like now usually I let this dry for a few minutes so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back all right so I've let it dry just a little bit it's not sticky anymore the glue has soaked into the paper <clears throat> so I'm going to get my glue one more time I know someone's gonna say what about Mod Podge or something like that well if you like it that's great and you can use it I personally don't care for it now I have not tried their new um, their new Mod Podge I think they changed their formula I have not tried that I just love using white school glue so there's no reason for me to buy something else so I'm happy using this and uh, you use what you like so if you want Mod Podge then you use that and if you like white school glue then you use that it's just a personal preference so use what you like alrighty so all I've done is I put a second layer of glue on the top I'm gonna let this dry I'm going to clean up and bring in one that is completely dry and we'll continue all right so now it's completely dry and you still have the napkin that's sticking around the edge so you could either take it to your guillotine or you could use your scissors and you'll want to cut this to be about 10 inches by six and a half inches that's one reason why I chose a piece of music paper because it is a rather large piece 10 inches but if you take um, coffee dyed paper and you use your stays on and you stencil it up that would work too so once you trim it down I have gone ahead I have inked around the edges and mine is now 10 inches by six and a half inches let's go ahead and let's fold it so you can have some choices here this is going to be the inside of your envelope you could have your music paper be upright or you can have your music paper be upside down or vice versa if you're using stamped words or anything like that you need to kind of decide do you want this to be your flap like this or would you prefer your flap to look like this I would prefer my flap to look like this that's going to cause my music to be upside down in my envelope I'm just gonna have to get over it right so what I want to do right now is take my edge the two ends right here the longer ends and I'm just gonna try to tell the paper oh I want you to fold just a tiny bit just a tiny bit by rubbing my finger over it I'm gonna line this up best I can over here on this end and I'm going to turn it over very little just a tiny little bit we just want to make it a little firmer a little more sturdy so I've just folded it over just a smidgen right we're going to do the exact same thing on this side so I'm just telling this paper okay now we're going to be folding we're going to be folding sometimes I find it hard to fold it when it's just a smidgen it just wants to um it doesn't want to fold a smidgen alrighty so we've got that down now because I've inked around the edge I'm going to ink around this new edge that I've created and I'm just running my sponge over it just like that and just over here I'm going to do the exact same thing not a lot obviously but just to give it a little of that coffee dyed or inking flavor now I've got my art glitter glue and I'm going to glue glue my fold down so adding my glue and then I'm going to close it I'm using some of that napkin that we just took off of our napkin 
just like that. Wiping up any extra glue that I have here. Do it one more time on this end. Adding my glue and folding it over. There we are. Now, if you have a sewing machine and you like to sew paper and you do that with your sewing machine, this is when you would take it to your sewing machine and you would sew all the way around it. Now, because I'm getting ready to do some bundles for Christmas sales, I am going to take it to my machine. I'm going to sew it around because I'll be using this as one of the gifts. So, But there's nothing wrong with not sewing it. You have secured your napkin really, really well onto your paper. It's not going to come off. Remember, we went all the way to the edge, <clears throat> and then we cut it down. We put an extra layer of glue on. It's not going to flake off. But I'm just going to do it because I like that look. All right, I'm going to do sew around the edge. I'll be right back. All right, I have sewn around the edge. I'm not even sure you can see that. I think you can. Oh, you can catch it right up here, I think. All right, so I've decided that I was going to use this end for my flap because I did like it better than this end. Yeah, I don't want those flowers upside down. So this is going to be the part of the envelope that holds what you're going to put in it. I'm going to turn it up three and a half inches. So let's just line this up best I can. And we're going to say one, two, three and a half. There we go. And we're going to make a crease right there. Then we're going to turn this part, which is going to be our flap of our envelope, we're going to turn it over, where's my notes, two inches. So, I think this is two inches, yeah. So let's just do that, two inches. That's going to leave a space right here so that you're able to get things in and out of your envelope. I am going to <clears throat> turn it back on itself just a little bit so that I can get a little bit of color on the inside. Now, I don't think I did this in my example, but I do like folds of things to have a little bit of color. Holding it back, there we go. And then just running my sponge on here. I have new sponge pieces coming tomorrow because uh, this is just, I'm out of them, and I just need a new one because it is shredding everywhere, as you can see. <laughs> okay, so now, there we are. Oh my goodness, isn't that looking fantastic? It's gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to glue my pieces right here. So I'm going to glue from here, I'm going to glue this side, and I'm going to glue this side up into the folded area. And we're going to make this into an envelope. Now, some of you are saying, Kathy, what are you going to use this thing for? Well, I actually made a little bit of a list. Let me read my list to you. You could use it as a money holder. You could make one for a birthday. Wouldn't it be really cute to use a birthday napkin? I think that would be adorable. You could make it for Christmas. You could stick it in your Christmas tree with a note or money. You could make it for a thank you note to hold a thank you note or graduation or a wedding or last but not least you can always stick it in your junk journal alrighty so now we've got our envelope basically made let's go ahead and let's do a little bit of decorating I'm going to bring in a paper clip here if I can get this undone heavenly days there we go just to hold it closed so that I can think about this I've got some music paper here and they're scraps and what I want to do is I just want to tear around, kind of make an oval or a circle, because we're going to make a little cluster. Now, if you already have some clusters made that you would like to use for this project, well, this is when you need to grab them so that you'll be able to put them as decoration on your envelope. But I'd like to make one just specially for my, my uh, little napkin envelope here. So I'm inking around the edge because, well, that's just what I like to do. I'm going to bring in my dish here. I do have a couple that I've already made because I was prepping for this video. 
and I also have some beautiful laces. Now you guys, I'm going to be using laces from 1924 Linens and More. I will link her Etsy shop down below. She has some gorgeous things and I have recently purchased quite a few of them and I'm going to start using them and what a better place to use them than on this absolutely gorgeous music paper napkin envelope. So I think what I'd like to do is literally just glue it down just like that. Now do I want this? Yeah, I want that to be on the top I do believe. I also have a little bit of flat lace that I could either stick underneath or on the top. Oh, maybe something like that. Let's get this glued on first. So I'm going to pull in my glue gun and I use a glue gun in my videos because it's quick, it's easy, and it's great for videos. So I want it to go on this way. I am going to just start at one end and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue and pull this down so it will fit. It's kind of stretchy so I think I can make this fit my envelope here. So I don't want to stretch it too much or it will make my envelope pucker. I don't want that to happen. But there. There we go. Alrighty. Oh look, it's it's got age on it and it's kind of, you know, got some staining, which I just think is beautiful. We've got our cluster here. And I think what I'd like to do is maybe add my lace, maybe something, well, let's see here, maybe something like this on my uh, music paper. So I'm just going to glue it on just like that. I've got my spoon bring it in. It's going to help me with my glue. I've got some silk flower petals. So I've torn them apart and I thought, oh my goodness, this would be so pretty to use as part of my decoration. So let's bring our napkin back in and let's look at this. If I put that and maybe the pink or do I want the purple? Because there is a lot of purple in this. I wanted to use this little, kind of looks like a steering wheel for a yacht, doesn't it? <laughs> it's also a piece from 1924 Linens and More. Um, I think this will pop through, the pink will pop through just enough. Yeah, it gives it that vintage feel just to have a little bit of color popping through. I'm going to grab my buttons. Now I have already put a little bit of thread through my button and I actually left a little bit of the thread, or you can't even see, I left a little bit of the thread long because I thought it would be uh, really pretty in the decoration. So let's glue our little circle on first before we go any further. I think I want it at an angle. So adding my little circle, my little cluster circle, and then I'm going to add some white petals right here. And then how about, do I want another layer of white petals? I have this one which is a little different shape. Oh, it's a different color. No, I think I want to stick with this. So adding my second layer of petals. I'm not, as you can see, I'm not gluing it all down. I'm just gluing it in the center. So it gives it a little bit of a 3D effect. But if you put it in a journal, it would go completely flat. Okay, it pop right back up. So I'm going to add my pink silk flowers petals here next. And then I'm simply going to add my little vintage piece of handiwork here. That looks super gorgeous. And then one of these buttons. Which button do I want? Oh, I like that one because it's it kind of looks like it's mothery pearl kind of looking. Adding some glue and pushing my button into that glue. I am going to cut this just a little bit, my streamers, from my, my thread. But 
there we go you guys now you can always add a little bit of bling let's see i've got all kinds of things here i'm not sure if i want bling with that button but um you know we've already got the button going on here do we want bling too why not but maybe we want a little bit more of some lace possibly i'm looking over here with what i've got here 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 would it work to add maybe a little extra piece of lace here so that the the, the bling kind of stands out a little more or just lay it right on top i'm not sure what i want to do on my other one it's com it's designed completely different get out a little bit of lace inside oh my goodness that's pretty or we could add this little piece of lace maybe right down here oh let's do that for something fun and different let's add a little piece right down here it's just a little little bit of lace just for that extra extra pizzazz and I'm still questioning whether I want that there I'm thinking I might want some kind of I'm looking at all of my stuff that I have over here can't quite put my finger on what I want I've got um I've got this piece I like that polka dotty net that's kind of what I'm looking for some other color or something to be able to um, stand out on top of this vintage very you know aged looking lace so this is a wider piece there we go that did it that's what I needed so I'm going to put it pop it on here and I'm not going to really kind of put it at a little bit of an angle and then I'm going to pop my bling right on top of that and there we go let's look at it closer isn't that beautiful that looks so vintage doesn't it and we open it up and then we've got that extra lace there and then this is how it looks on the back oh my goodness so beautiful now let me show you my other one like i said it's very different there's a little bit of beading here that came in with my um, little bunch that I bought from 1924 linens and more and then this little scrap came and then I made this pretty little flower and put another little piece of scrap in here and then we're going to open it up and I added an extra little piece of lace right up here oh I do love this project it's been around for a long long time but there is something very special about making music paper napkin envelopes i do hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give me a thumbs up i invite you to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video i'll see you there guys bye now